Okay, I was distracted. Before I even start, I'm distracted. Um, it's time for my Monday weekly update. And um, on my, when I went Saturday to the Weight Watchers, I lost 1.6. So I was really high hoping that I'd lose two pounds by today. And I got on the scale and I only lost a pound. I actually gained six tenths of a pound, which doesn't surprise me. Um, I went to Taco Bell yesterday for my dinner and that, uh, it wasn't as good as I remembered. It was good, but not as good as I remembered. But um, I um, I think it's a little bit of um, water retention because I think the preservatives and stuff that they add kind of adds water. So I'm not going to get discouraged. I'll still take the one point, the one pound loss and um, just get back on track, that's all. I. Um, I don't like to drive at night because I don't see very well at night. And I left and I thought, well, I got plenty of time. Well, I didn't realize how busy the Taco Bell was. And so when I came home, it was dark and it was a scary ride. <laughs> um, I uh, I can go get new glasses because, you know, if you've been watching for a while, you know I've complained about these glasses. I like the look of the glasses, um, but I don't see real well out of them. And because I found out um, from where I used to get my I got my glasses at... Uh, this one place called Lens Boutique that for years, I can't even tell you how many years, just I always got them there because the eye doctor was um, right next door to it and so I always just went right there and got it. But then I switched eye doctors because I wanted to get one a little bit closer to my home and I just decided to um, use their opt, you know, glass makers or whatever you call them, lens crafters or whatever. And um, they they let me pick out my own frame or anything like that. And they never said anything. Well, I come to find out because of my stigmatisms and uh, the fact of the way my eyes are that I need a smaller frame. Like this is, I've got too much glass so that the vision kind of goes out. And uh, the reason I found that out was because Jim kept going to the lens boutique. And when I went, I was telling them about why. And he says, well, didn't they tell you that the frame that you picked out is a little bit too big for the prescriptions that you've had in the past? And they were very nice. They didn't, you know, give me a hard time because I went somewhere else. <laughs> but um, when I do go back, I'm going to go back to them. I'll, I'll still go to the same eye doctor, but um, I'll just take my prescription over to them and have them fill it. But anyway, that has nothing to do with my weight loss. But, you know. That's just what I do. And then another thing, I noticed that I always seem to wear the same sweatshirt on Mondays. I must have a, like a routine that I always wear the same clothes. And you know, like Mondays this sweatshirt, Tuesdays another. I don't know what it is. I don't have, I have a lot of clothes, but I sent, tend to always wear the same ones. I don't know why. But, and I, I wear them till they're, till they're gone. I, I, my coat, I have a coat that my, my uh, family absolutely hates that I've had since 1992, but it is so warm. It's really a warm coat. It's an ugly coat, but it's a very warm coat. So I still have that coat. But the one I wear is very light, but once again, off track. Um, I um, I really miss walking. I, I'm gonna try to, at the Weight Watchers meeting, they said that if you just walk 10 minutes and um, did t 10 minute spurts, you could do that. So I. Denise walks in her house all the time. She gets like 15 to 16,000 steps and just walking in her house. Uh, I can't do that. It's just very boring. I've tried listening to the radio and listening to the music on my iPad and watching videos as I walked. And it's just, I just can't find, I like walking outside. I like being distracted by everything around me. And my house is just all the same. And all I get distracted by is, oh, there's a dust ball there or there's a hair ball there. <laughs> You know, that should be clean or that should be clean and, you know, no. I don't have a dirty house. I don't want it to sound like that. But, you know, I think all houses are dusty. All houses could use a little bit more cleaning. But, and I shouldn't say all houses. I should say most houses. But as uh, West Virginia Running Don said that, you know, the 10 minutes, as long as you get your heart rate up, you know, if you take a little leisurely 10-minute little stroll through your house or any kind of exercise, it's not going to really do anything unless you get that heart beating. So that's what I want to do. And I was having a problem with my Fitbit. It really wasn't, rec it was, it kept saying my battery was low, but I charged it all night. So the only thing I could think of was that I must not have put it in the contraption the right way. And so it really didn't charge. So um, I'm in a bunch of challenges, but I have no steps to show that I did it. So I brought it home and I'm recharging it once again. My other one I knew was going to go bad. A smart person would have plugged it in when they left, but you know. I forgot. And I only have the one charger plug, so I have to, you know, rotate them back and forth. But 
I'm really glad that I went back to Weight Watchers. Um, it's really helping me to really keep in check things. And, you know, even though I had the Taco Bell, I still tracked it. And uh, I went way over my points. But at least I knew where I was going with it. And it really makes me second guess myself as far as how I'm going to eat. And uh, do I think, do I really want that for that many points? Because on Sundays, I usually don't track, which I know I should track every day. But uh, I know who I am, and if I don't have at least one day where I can eat what I want, because I, I am like a binge eater, and if I wait and constantly deprive myself of something, then I'm just going to binge eat. I know, I know that. So if I know in my mind that on Sundays I can kind of, you know, eat what I want within reason, you know, I, I've learned that much now. I have to eat within reason. I, I can't just willy-nilly eat whatever I want. But... Um, I'm getting the tools now that I didn't really have. I, I knew in my mind that I had to um, watch what I ate and all that other stuff, but it wasn't until you realize just how many calories are in stuff that you like and uh, is it really worth it. Uh, I don't really eat a lot of processed foods, but when I do eat the processed foods, I do notice it in my body. I'm a little sluggish and uh, I crave more. Um, the Taco Bell, when I woke up this morning, and I ate the Taco Bell, it was about 6 o'clock last night. And you know, I don't go to bed till like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. But uh, when I got up this morning, I was starving. I was really, really hungry. And when I'm eating with the Weight Watchers, I'm not hungry in the morning when I wake up. Any more than normal. I mean, everybody's hungry when they wake up in the morning. But I mean, I was starving. And you know, trust me, I am not starving. But I just was so hungry. And I thought, no, I'm going to go to my water aerobics class, see how I feel. And once I get home... We'll see how that goes, and uh, and it did. It, it worked. I, you know, I got so busy doing the exercises and and uh, just get myself moving that I didn't really need to worry about eating. But I, you know, I had a healthy breakfast. I had a little bit too much fruit. I'm, I don't want to fall back on that kick because um, I used to eat a lot of fruit, and I know that's sugar. I mean, I know it's natural sugar, but it's still sugar. And I'm, I'm trying very hard to um, just eat fruits and vegetables and get a protein in with each meal. I'm really still having a hard time eating the three meals. I know it's because I eat so late and I know your body needs that fuel when you first wake up in the morning, but um, for some reason my body doesn't require it. <laughs> not that it doesn't require it, it just doesn't point out that I need it. I, Cause I, I usually I'm not very hungry. I don't usually eat till between 12 and one and of course, when you don't get out of bed till 9, 30, 10 o'clock, it's not really that long of a wait. <laughs> but um, even when I worked, I found it very hard. I did eat breakfast when I worked, and uh, it was really difficult for me. But I just, and I really couldn't because my lunch hour, I always started work like 6, 6.30 in the morning. And our, my lunch hour was always like around 12, 12.30, which is what time I eat now. But I guess the fact that I was getting up at 4.30, 5 o'clock, that made the difference because uh, I, I could have, I never could make it till lunchtime, and I knew that if I didn't eat a proper breakfast before I went to work, that uh, I'd be hitting that vending machine. Or uh, where I worked, there was always somebody bringing in a baked good. There were always, there was always cookies, cakes, um, bagels, donuts. There was always something to eat. So um, that's. I had a hard time saying no, but now I think I would be pretty good. The thing that bummed me out the most is on Saturday, I wanted to get a bagel because uh, we were at this fruit market that we really like over by our neighborhood, not in my neighborhood, but on the way back from the Weight Watchers meeting. And I was like staring at all these bagels and I was like putting them into my app to see how many points they were. And Denise left to go get something and she came back and she says, you're still standing here. And I go, I'm still trying to decide if I really, really want this bagel. And uh, she said, well, whatever you decide, I'm really proud of you because you didn't make a snap judgment. You really decided just to really think about whether or not you wanted it. And so then I did decide I was going to get one bagel, and that was going to be my breakfast, and that's what I was going to have. And uh, that's what I did. I had the one bagel. But the thing that bummed me out, I'm going to let that go to voicemail. Uh, the thing that bummed me out the most was the fact that um, I have a new toaster, and I didn't realize that the settings weren't different for the bagels and the toast, and it burnt. <laughs> it was just, I like a really dark toast, but now it was burnt. And so I was so mad. So I just scraped the black burnt off, and I still ate it. <laughs> so, but uh, 
Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Once again, I've lost a pound. I should have lost a pound and a half at least, but uh, I'm happy with the pound, and I'm um, going to stick with it this week and hopefully have a better loss next week. Definitely want to have a loss at Weight Watchers on Saturday, so let's get back on track. So like this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm really glad you joined me. Um, hopefully you can put up with me. And uh, comment. I love your comments. I try very hard to stay up on them, you know, to answer you. And if you have any questions for me, you know, throw them out there. I'll, I'll answer them. Talk to you guys later.